Tributes as Norfolk's son Sir Timothy Coleman dies aged 91 Tributes have been paid after one of Norfolk's sons, Sir Timothy Coleman, died at the age of 91. Sir Timothy died on Thursday morning, September 9, surrounded by his family, at his home at Bixley Manor, near Norwich, after a remarkable life. Part of the Coleman's mustard dynasty, he was also a Royal Navy officer, world record holder, naturalist, businessman, a knight of the garter, and, through it all, a champion for Norfolk. He had key roles in establishing the University of East Anglia, the creation of Whitlingham Broad and held roles in a host of Norfolk organizations. Born in Norfolk on September 19, 1929, Sir Timothy was the son of Geoffrey Coleman and Lettuce Dean, and the great-grandson of Jeremiah James Coleman, the creator of Coleman's Mustard. Sir Timothy's father died in 1935, when Sir Timothy was just six years old. With his mother bringing up him, and his four brothers and sisters, David, Juliet, Penelope, and Russell. His brother David was killed at Alamein in 1942, age 21, the same age that his younger brother Russell died in a railway accident in 1958. Sir Timothy was educated at Heatherdown Preparatory School in Berkshire and joined the Royal Naval College in Dartmouth, age 13. Always a keen sailor, as was to be memorably demonstrated later in his life, that fulfilled a childhood longing to join the Royal Navy. He served as a midshipman, then as second lieutenant on HMS Frobser and Indefatigable, and served abroad in Malta and in the Mediterranean, including in Palestine in 1948. That same year, while on leave from the armed forces, Sir Timothy met Mary Bose Lyon, the first cousin of the Queen, and the daughter of Captain Hahn, Michael Bose Lyon and Elizabeth Margaret Cater. Of Woodbistwick. Secretly engaged for two years, the pair married in 1951. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and Princess Margaret were guests at their wedding at St. Bartholomew the Great at Smithfields in London. The couple's early married life was spent in Dorset, with Sir Timothy, who went on to be Lord Lieutenant of Norfolk for more than 25 years, serving in the Royal Navy at Portland. After Sir Timothy retired from the Navy, the pair moved to Norfolk in 1953 which became the happiest of family homes for their five children, Sarah, Sabrina, Emma, James, and Matthew. Sir Timothy joined the family firm, then known as Reckett and Coleman, where he progressed to managing the Carroll Works site. He left to manage the family estate at Crown Point. He became a director of Eastern Counties newspapers, now Archant, the publishers of the Eastern Daily Press in 1957. That continued a family link. His grandfather Russell, a Lord Lieutenant of Norfolk, was instrumental in starting the newspaper group. He served on the board of Reckitt and Coleman from 1978 to 89, was chairman of Eastern Counties newspapers from 1969 to 1996. He was also on the board of Whitbreads from 1980 to 85, and of Anglia Television Group from 1987 to 94. He was patron or president of a large number of organizations including the Norfolk and Norwich Festival, the Carnegie United Kingdom Trust, the Friends of Norwich Museums Norfolk Wildlife Trust Norfolk and Norwich Horticultural Society, the Royal Norfolk Agricultural Association, English Countryside Commission, Nature 